Oh, everybody, Sir Stillwater. Okay, in this video, I'm going to, uh, what am I going to talk about? I'm going to do a storyline to show you how to buy a forge point, and then I'm going to uh, try to get some production cranking, because I've got a lot of undeveloped space in my village right now. So I'm going to start going down that path of, of getting the most, because we're getting to the point now in the game, if you've been following along in this series, where we're going to start having some pinch points of not enough coin, not enough supplies. And it's going to alternate between those two and forge points, obviously, because you always need forge points to unlock stuff. But a uh, couple things we could do to help alleviate some of that pinch or, uh, or lessen it, if we will. So first, I'm going to go ahead and harvest. Always, 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 always harvest whatever you can. Um, so because otherwise you're just leaving it out there, leaving money on the table. So... I'm just going to do 15 minutes now since I'm talking about other stuff. And I don't want to get distracted. Okay, so we've got two spear fighters. We've got some supplies. We've got some coin production. And uh, got some happiness. We could use a little more happiness. You know, some, I need enthusiasm because I built these spear fighters. And those spear fighters took my uh, happiness. So now I need to get some. I'm getting 100% production, but I can get 120%. So why leave 20% on the table? So let's do that. Let's go and build... And I'm going to go, in this case, I'm just going to look for the biggest bang for the buck. Oops, excuse me, go to decorations. And I'm going to throw a memorial. And I'll put it down here in the end because memorials don't need to be connected to anything. Now let's do a little bit of uh, quick organization. Throw some memorials down here. Get those out of the way. I'm going to put all my happy buildings and trees I mean, some people like to decorate their towns to be uh, aesthetic and uh, and pleasant looking. Um, I look at productivity because it's a game and you're here to, you know, be productive in what you're doing. But that's my preference. Everybody's different. Uh, whatever. Sometimes I'll, sometimes I'll play it both ways. Depending on the things that you can build, some things look better than others. And, you know, flowers versus obelisks, the big stone. I mean, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the key thing is you get the goods that you need, uh, the resources you need. So here's like happiness, 78. I guess I got a little bit of growing room. I got a you know, population of 43, so I can expand that a little bit. Whoops, let me go back in there. You notice all this empty space? That's space that could be making coin or uh, supplies. So let's do that. Okay, couple theories in building your housing buildings. Early in the game, this is my personal preference. It's all my personal preference. So somebody's like, oh, it's, you know, it, it should be this way or that way or whatever. Hey, man, everybody's got their own everybody's got their own angle at it. This is the way that I play my game. So take it for what it is, in my opinion. Okay, so early in the game, I like to just grind coins because you're going to come to a pinch point here real soon. Even though these huts kind of kind of stink, they only pay uh, – what are these things paying? Uh, these things are paying 6 and 5 where this is paying 11 and 15. Well, 6 and 5 is 18 compared to 11 and 15 for a current era building. Um, and I'm really all about the coin right now. If I'm going to be sitting here playing, doing quests, and just being active, I'm just going to just grind and harvest as quick as I can. So that said, I'm just going to keep building these out. But there is a, a, a balance between... Well, I'm going to try to do this while I'm doing this. So... Uh, while I'm talking. Okay, so I'm going to try to build out as many as I can. You notice my population is going to shoot and my happiness is going to just tank. Um, and then we're going to fix that in a second. This is a, a, a kind of a lightning round way to do the uh, to do some production. One is A, this is going to give me um, population. And B, it's going to give me coin. And both of those I'm going to need to do rapid advancement on my village. See, I got a couple spots here that are kind of like landlocked that really aren't useful for anything. That'd be a great place to stick some of these trees. Get them out of here so I have more free available uh, map, map space. Okay, so now... Um, oh, that didn't affect my happiness too bad. I need a 99 to be enthusiastic, so I'm, I'm getting real... Oh, man, I'm right on the bubble of not being enthusiastic. But uh, for the sake of... Expediency, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to move this down here for now. Move that up there. Move this down here. Okay, I like to group my buildings. How am I doing on time here? Now I'm getting pretty close. So uh, I like to group my buildings together, and I'll sort these out later and put all the huts together on the other ones. I just like it to be neat and organized. It makes it easier to work with. But you notice my um, 
All my coin building is here. All my supply buildings are here. All my military buildings are here. If I can organize like that, I will. And um, let's get some production buildings going up. Oh, I, can, I can't afford to build a domestic. That's, that's diamonds anyway, so I'm not going to build that anyways. Potteries. 5,400. Each era's building is going to be a better efficiency of production per square, but it's going to cost more and it's going to take more space oftentimes. But I'm going to build potteries if I can. So 34 in one hour. This uh, We'll talk about it in the next video. I'm going to come right back and uh, talk about how I'm going to decide which one of these two buildings I'm going to build. Do I build a 34 in one hour 3x3 three three, or do I build a 50 in one hour 4x3? And why am I going to make that decision based on all the factors we have to look at? So I'll be right back. Uh, it should be in the playlist if you're watching the playlist or uh, just look for uh, the video on the list. Um, again, this is Sir Stillwater. Any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave them below like I always say. If you have any suggestions or tips on how you like to organize your village, go ahead and leave them in the comments and share with the community. So I'll try to build some community um, uh, knowledge share in this. Um, so uh, see you in the next video. Bye.